Okay, do you see Malibu? We're live. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hi, Janet. You're the first one here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got to figure out why this is jiggling. Wait a minute. Let's see if I can stop this from jiggling. Ugh, there we go. Let's see if that'll stop it from jiggling. The cord, you know, going to the computer. So, yes, we have Malibu just joined us. See, there she is. <laughs> Hi, Missy, Terry, Raul, Tina, Tori, Tina, Tori, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> Hope everybody had a good weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought we would uh, make a mess this morning. We're going to make a mess. With using color cubes as our color mass inspiration. <laughs> but we're going to cut it down and make car collage cards. So that's the plan anyway. We'll see how far we get with the color cube. I did pick some colors and then I'll let y'all pick some uh, card numbers too. Uh, but I wanted to pick things that were completely different, you know. I didn't want two blues, two pinks, two yellows. So I went through and picked out um, picked out cards myself that were all different color combinations so we didn't get any kind of close repeats. So and I did one thing here so I for a sample so I could show y'all where we're headed, hopefully, maybe, possibly. Hi Lena. Hi Herman. Hermy. Hi. Hi Debbie Bruce. Hope you're doing well. Angie Vale. Oh, uh, let's see. I did, <clears throat> I did post um, Instagram today showing what we're going to do today. I haven't posted anything lately on the times I stream, and I forget to do that on IG. So I did that this morning. I do have some books to show, um, and I did do my Barbie photography for uh, St. Patrick's Day and the beginning of March. I'll just show you real quick one little thing. I won't show you everything, but. Here, I'll show you this. Because y'all are here. Y'all get uh, y'all get special previews. Not that anybody cares, but you know. So yeah, here's the here's my Barbie in her um in her new um St. Patrick's Day outfit with the cats in her lap, of course. Now it was much neater when I had her set up for um set up for her photography session, but this is <laughs> that's her. Let's see, um, what else do I have here? If y'all remember, Cameron was here, Denise, Cameron, and Samantha. I say Cameron because he did this project. He left it with me, signed it, and left it with me. So he did uh, finish. Uh, that's kind of flashed out, isn't it? Let me see here. Let me fix my camera. I think that's good. Okay, so he did leave his um, picture with me that he did last Wednesday, which I I was I appreciated him doing that. <laughs> that was fun. He picked the prompts. He picked like five or six prompts out of the out of the blue bowl, and this is what he had. I think he had vines, pea pods. If he had a dinosaur, a starfish, he had a, he had seven or six or seven things. So, yeah, he left that with me. <laughs> Thank you, Jen, and good morning. Hi, Julie Topaz. Happy Marvelous Monday to you. Uh, let's see, who else? Kathleen, Debbie. Uh, I know it did turn out. Well, here's Malibu again. Oh, whatever. Um, I do have some books to show, and what else? I'm looking around. Oh, Denise brought a whole bunch of these. <laughs> that she, she got these... Um, you know, uh, drinking, I don't know if they were mugs or cups or whatever they were, tumblers, and they came in these boxes, and she didn't need, need the boxes, so she gave me, I think, nine of these boxes. I think I'm going to try to figure out, um, well, I know I have to just put them in a box and send them, but I thought I'd send one to Kathleen, I mean Kathleen, Kathy Berg and Colleen, that, that combined makes Kathleen. <laughs> Kathy Berg and Colleen and to uh, see if they wanted to uh, collage on them because I think they're cool. Now you could just use them like this for um, 
pencil holders. So <clears throat> you could collage on them this way and then use them for <coughs> pencil or paintbrush holder. So we'll see. I have some of those set aside over here. Uh, let's see what else. So yeah, the only other thing I got is some books. I have a tag on the side of my shirt here. I'm going to cut that off. It's scratching my side. Um, let's see. Cat. Hi, Barbara Chicken Pot Pie Society. Uh, Belinda. So I got my lemon water. I haven't heard from Rachel lately, so I hope she's okay. Kristen. So, yeah, so we're going to do Color Cube Collage Smash Up. <laughs> and it's kind of like how we would do uh, Smack and Dragon, Smack and Dragon. But uh, instead, we're going to do something so kind of similar with making a mess, but we're going to do it with paint, acrylic paint, <laughs> to make our papers. And we've all made painty papers a gazillion times, a gazillion different ways. But I'm going to use the color cubes today. So I already did a set using these colors. And um, so I used, this was one of the color cubes here. Look, I think I matched that pretty well, right? <laughs> I matched that one up pretty well. I should, this would be a good thumbnail right there. Holding this color cube right there. I might, I might change my thumbnail to this. So I'll just go take a screeny, take a screenshot after a while. Cause I like that. <laughs> Anyway, let's see. Melinda, good morning. Puppy, okay. Well, thanks for stopping in. Let's see. Thanks, Jen. Yeah, I thought so. Because, you know, I have pretty much every color of deco art. Uh, you know, I love me some um, Americana deco art paints. And um, so you, you collect them up a little at a time. Good morning, Tina. Collect them up a little at a time, you know, when they go on sale for under a dollar. And, um, yeah, it doesn't take long. You've, <laughs> you've collected them up. So, <clears throat> but these are the color cubes. And I have box one and two. This is um, color cube box one. Each box has 250 cards. So there's a total of 500 cards. And uh, so I just went through both of them and picked out, well, I think I went through both of them and just did the second one. I think I went through the second box. Anyway, uh, and tried to pick out some different color combinations so that they, if we did it random, the chances are we're going to get some pinks and browns again, you know, so I wanted to definitely pick out some that were all different. Then if we have time, we'll see. Um, then we'll maybe pick some more. So I have both my color cube boxes here just to show y'all what they look like. And you can get them. They're Sarah Renee Clark. You'll see her all over Facebook, Instagram, where you can purchase them. And they come pretty fast. Now, I've not seen these on Amazon. So I do not think she sells them on Amazon. So just FYI. Uh, you have to look up Sarah Renee Clark on IG. Or her, she has a website too. If you put in Color Cube, Sarah Renee Clark in Google, you'll find it. So, and uh, you can buy them separately or the, you get a deal if you buy both. And uh, and she's not sponsoring me. You know, I don't know her. I just, I like the Color Cubes. I watched them. Uh, I, I looked at them for probably close to a year before I bought them. And then I finally broke down and bought them. And we've been having some fun with them, like picking picking a color to do a color book page using just those colors plus maybe some skin tones but um so it's been fun to do the use these so let's see that's the second box so let me just go and put the lids back on them real quick here kind of get them out of the way because i don't want them all splashed up with paint and we're gonna be splashing paint around so <laughs> so i'll end up moving them in a little bit okay so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make painty papers. I'm going to show you the ones I've made, and then we're going to make a bunch more. Then we're going to cut them up or maybe stencil first and then cut up or cut up and then stencil or maybe not stencil. We'll see. Because I'd really like to stencil them on dry acrylic paints. We'd have to make sure everything was dry. Like these are dry. I did these yesterday. So I'd have some samples for you. And uh, 
and then cut them up and make postcards, art cards. I don't usually make ATCs. They're a little too small for me anymore. ATCs, artist trading cards, are two and a half by three and a half. I like like about three. But I never remember my size of my cards. Let me measure. Let's measure. Let's measure one here. This size, which is, I got my little, I think it's, it's um, three by four three by four. They're just a little bigger. And so, but you can make them three by five. You can make them four by six postcard size. You can make, you know, you can make your art cards any size you want. I did pull my two binders with some of my collage that I've done um, cutting out old art journal pages and cutting down papers to make postcards and using postcards. So we'll try to show a lot of different variety and options, which, you know, we've done a little bit of all of it before. So, you know, we've been here um, a lot of years. So you probably seen everything. Plus, don't forget my playlist. I have a lot of things in my playlist, collage, mixed media, you know, so. Oh, thank you, Tina. Thank you. Let's see. Um, you want the fan? Okay. It, Crafting Gin has been, and ter sometimes Terry, they like the um, fantasy prompt. So I do keep the book handy. Here's the book. 500 fantasy writing prompts, but you can write a comic, a, a, a story. You can do a poem. You can do a, just an art card. You can do, you know, you can do anything you want. The idea, and if you don't do them, at least write them down so that you'll have ideas to use at s some later time when you don't know what to do. All right, so let's pick a prompt real quick. Let me get a, okay, let's see. Today's a 26. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let me get a sip of my water here. Hi, Becky Kalora. Okay, so uh, Jen, you want to pick a page number between 12 and 295. That, that's the pages that have prompts on them. 12 to 295. Jen, you pick a number and then we'll see how many prompts are on that page and whether we need to pick a one, two, or a three. All right, so. And this is a 500 Fantasy Writing Prompts Workbook by Erica Blumenthal. And I didn't get it for the workbook part to do the workbook. I got it for the prompt I did. So, you know. Uh, thanks, Tina. All right. $2.95. Oh, you want the last one? $2.95. $2.95. Let's see what's on. $2.95. Okay. There's only one. No, there's two. So do you want one or two? There's two prompts on, on page 295. So you want prompt one or prompt two? <clears throat> and then uh, we'll read that prompt. I don't read, I haven't read all these and I don't know, you know, it's, we, we're just hoping for the best here. Uh, let's see. Uh, almost I'm missing. Thanks everybody for being here. One. Okay, here we go. One. The seventh chalice. That's the prompt. The seventh chalice. You can look it up. You can Google. You can make up whatever you want. But that's the prompt. The seventh chalice. So, yeah. Okay. There we go. That's uh, today's prompt. I see you, Malibu. Come on up for a couple minutes. Um, Let's see. What else do I have here? I do have plans to make some. Okay, baby, I have to go over here. I do have some plans for um, making some tags for, uh, and we'll probably do that next week, a week before or so, before St. Patrick's Day. So we're going to do some St. Patrick's Day tags using uh, Kate Curry's and maybe some others books to make tags. Kind of like we did um, Valentine's, except we're going to make tags. So we're going to do that uh, next week, closer to uh, closer to St. Patrick's Day. So you have time to make them. And I'll probably do some little kits again. Has anybody got their kits that I did for Valentine's Day? Uh, is anybody here that got a kit that liked their kit from Valentine's Day? Because I do not remember who got one. So, you know, because <laughs> there were giveaways. I don't keep track of uh, who um, who gets a kit. I mean, who gets a giveaway. So sometimes I'll remember somebody, but for the most part, once I send them out, I don't remember who I've sent them out to because I do so many giveaways. 
Let's see, who else am I missing here? Thanks everybody for being here. I like to say good morning to everybody first thing. Make sure you, if you're talking to me, you put it in caps. Hi, Shelly. Uh, put it in caps if you're talking to me. Make sure you have live chat selected or it's live messages, live chat, because it defaults to top chat and you will not see all the chat unless you actually click live chat. Also, make sure that you're watching at least in 720. I'm streaming in 1080, but make sure that you uh, have the highest quality you can. Don, you got yours and love them? Okay. Hi, Joanne. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad. I like to hear if somebody's got at least got them and doing something with them. All right, so I'm not going to go through all this yet until I show. I've got some books, so we'll show some books. I did pull out a couple of catalysts and wedges and, a, you know, just something else beside my fingers because this is what I did all this with. I did this with fingers and I put my paint out on wax paper so we could smack and smash. So instead of smack and dragging, we're smack and smashing. We're smack and smashing <laughs> instead of smack and dragging. So we'll... <laughs> And I got another palette knife. So we're going to do that. And then I brought out my um, viewfinder. So you can, you know, pick section. We'll do all that in a minute. All right. So let me show you the books I got. Y'all know. I told you I'm re... Hi, View. View got her happy mail. I saw that. Thanks, View. I'm glad you liked it. Um, Y'all know that I sold my uh, science fiction collection about 35 years ago to the best of my remembrance of how long ago. It was about somewhere around 35 years ago during one of our moves. And I got rid of uh, a lot of, I say get rid of, I didn't get rid of them. I sold them to a, a, a book dealer that, that uh, I just wanted to, you know, downsize some of my books because we were moving. Books are heavy if y'all have never moved books. Anyway, so I decided I'm going to recollect some of my favorites. Oh, let me go get my little, hang on. So I'm going to recollect some of my favorites. I'm not going to, obviously I'll never recollect everything that I, I got rid of. But um, so if y'all watch Outlaw Bookseller, YouTube, um, YouTuber and booktuber, Outlaw Bookseller. And this is his book that, well, one of them, that uh, Stephen Andrews. And he's, I love his show because for, for one, you know, he's, he's British. So he's got that accent. <laughs> but also because he travels different places and it's really interesting to see the bookshops and book cities and places he goes to look for books and sell books and all that. Well, anyway, you can get this on Amazon science fiction. It's a uh, hundred must read science fiction novels. And uh, he's, he's, you know, more my age. And so he goes back, he goes back to the, the books that I liked back when I was reading science fiction in the 70s. <clears throat> well, I read them later too, but I really, really read a lot of the, my first science fictions were really in the 70s. <clears throat> so, and now of course I got a tickle in my throat. <clears> throat> so I got his little uh, book here and, uh, uh, you can get it on Amazon. Just look up a hundred must read science fiction novels or one of the girls. Oh, well, Tina's already got it. There we go. Tina's already put it in. So, um, some of them, you know, um, some of them I, I have read some, I haven't, but it's just a handy little reference. And, uh, so anyway, here, I, and most of these I got off of thrift books. I did get a couple. I got iRobot and I got Stranger in a Strange Land at um, uh, Books a Million last week when I took uh, Samantha and Cameron to the bookstore and that I sh it was on Instagram. I posted the books that they got too. But I did um, I did buy some off of um, thrift books. So I did get another uh, Stranger in, in uh, a, str a stranger in strange land and i love heinlein i love his time i don't want to say time warps but <laughs> time uh time 
Uh, I'm not sure the word I want to use. But anyway, so uh, y'all know I love me hardbacks if I can find them because they're easier to read. Now, back in the day, I probably read almost all these books probably in paperbacks like this. Okay. This is one of my favorites, Heinlein's Time Enough for Love. I love this book back in the day. I've not reread it. I've, um, I'll have i show you what I have. I am re reading right now, but... <coughs> So this was the only one I could find at the moment. I'll still look for different ones uh, in, in hardback. But I, I did want this book, this particular book. And the only way I could get it right now was uh, in this paperback. So I bought it just to have the have a copy of it. And um, I'm not sure what year this came out. Uh, let's see. I think... It says 1973. I thought it was earlier than that, but it was 1973. So that's probably when I would have read this. And uh, so, <clears throat> hi, Pamela B. Anybody else coming in? Thanks, Tina, for putting in the links. So, um, yeah, I got those. And then I got this one. Does not have a book, uh, a, 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 a wrap, a cover. and uh, But this is three. This is three of Heinlein's books there, The Puppet Masters, Waldo, Magic, Inc. So this was three of them. And again, I'm just trying to find ones that I've read that I wanted to reread or re and or recollect. So I got, I got that one. Book jacket, that's the word I was trying to think of. So I got those, and then I got Time for the Stars. This one, let's see. Uh, this was first published in 1956. This this particular one is 1990. This is 1990 issue, but the the uh, first the story was first published in 1956. <clears throat> so those, did I get any more? I think that's all the Highland ones I got. <coughs> Sorry guys, I might have to go get me a Fig Newton or something. Get a sip of my water. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, Vale. Trust me, there's tons I want to collect, but some of my very favorites when I first started reading science fiction were Highland and Asma. So I started, and Jack, and I like Jack Finney too. And uh, so y'all saw that I got this is a second copy of, uh, let's see, where's this? Um, I think this is a second copy of both of these because I bought this one, the uh, first edition of this one, but it did not have a uh, cover on it. So I have a book jacket. Uh, so I bought a second one that had it. And, you know, you can get them pretty cheap off of thrift books. Again, I'm not looking for uh, collector's editions. I do like first editions. And I like hardbacks, but I'm not necessarily looking for pristine collectible, you know, condition. Um, that'd be nice, but I know better in most cases. I'm, I'm happy to get them at all in most cases, especially hardbacks, which I love me some hardbacks. So um, <clears throat> time and again, which I have this one, another copy downstairs. <coughs> and uh, uh, well, no, these are both the same. Where's my other copy? Oh, I, I did not bring, I, I brought the same copy upstairs. So I got that. And then um, the other thing that I got was by Jack Finney. The only copy I could find was his paperback version. It's a 60th anniversary, anniversary. It's a 60th anniversary edition. <laughs> of invasion of the body snatchers and i'm i'm reading it i'm up to about like chapter five or something yeah so uh but jack finney also wrote the invasion of the body snatchers and that came out let's see what year did that come out first does it say here well it was a sh it was i think first published as a short story in a magazine in 1954 and then I think the book came out in 1955. And of course, they've had two, maybe even three movies made of it since. They're, they're, the first, the two I know of, the one with um, uh, Leonard Nimoy's in it, that was the, no, that's the second one. Um, the first one's in black and white. The second one has Leonard Nimoy and uh, Jeff Goldblum. And I can't remember who else. It's been years since I saw it. I think it came out in the, 70s maybe the second one 
first one came out in the, it was black and white. So what, the fifth, late 50s, early 60s, maybe? I don't remember. I've seen both of those. Um, so anyway, uh, but he wrote, he wrote the uh, Invasion of Body Snatchers. So anyway, I'm rereading that. So I'm reading about three books right now. Uh, I have three on go. Well, I should say I've got about 10 ongoing, maybe 12, but I'm like really into three at the moment. And then I got uh, Childhoods in Arthur C. Clarke and this one. Let's see. Copyright 1953. And this does not say, it says this edition. I'm not sure what year this edition. It just says this one's 1953. But I don't know if that's true. I mean, I don't know if that's when he wrote the story. This doesn't seem like a 1953 book. So I'm not sure of this edition, but, uh, yeah, it doesn't have a, uh, list of, uh, numbers so I could tell, and it doesn't say first edition and it doesn't say, uh, it doesn't have a list of, you know, one, two, three, you know, if you can tell it's a first edition, but I don't know. It doesn't matter to me. I, it, this is probably a book club edition, but I wanted, I just wanted a hardback. Was Arthur C. Clark. So I'm not sure what year this was. First movie was 1956. Thank you, Tina. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. If y'all have never seen it, the, the, you need to see both. You need to see the old 1956 one and the second one with Leonard Nimoy and Jeff Goldblum. And uh, yeah. So anyway. Okay. Another sip of water. Am I missing anybody? Hi, Jane. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Donald Sutherland. Yeah. Um, let's see. The second release was 1978. Gosh, it does not even seem that long. it could have been. It had to be the 80s. No, I know. I'm I'm I know it was Tina, but, but yeah. Uh so both of them are good. You need to see both. So I'm in the process of reading that book. Okay, so what we're gonna do today. Thanks for humoring me. Oh, and I also posted some of those books on my community tab. Every Monday, I try to post books on my community tab. We're up to week 59 now. Um, we've been posting. Well, I say we <laughs> because if we do stuff together, I always say we. But anyway, I've been posting books on the community tab for 59 weeks. So <clears throat> every Monday, I try to post one. Okay. Okay. So I have my color cubes. I did select some color cubes uh, rather than having y'all just tell me numbers to pick because I wanted them to be a variety of color combinations. And I knew that if I let y'all pick color number, you know, just random numbers, that we'd probably get a lot of duplicates. And I didn't want to, not, not exact duplicates, but, you know, the colors would be close enough that, and I really wanted to have them all kind of separate, you know, uh, different color combinations. So I went through and picked different color combinations. So, so that's what I picked. Uh, I already did one. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a mess on papers and Oliver's, I mean, Malibu's going to have to get off my stack of papers right there. She's sitting on them. I'm going to have to get her off of those. And um, we'll use the uh, viewfinder later. So that will go over there. These are the colors that I used for this particular um, card. And I think I picked some good ones or close. Um, <laughs> yeah, and well, I already got some picked. All right. So those are the colors that I used in this case. Now, I, I have all my colors. I know I'm going to end up probably pulling half my paints out here. But um, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, so the, that's these colors. And so how I started is I, I put the paint on a piece of wax paper rather than in one of my little palettes, because we're not going to be neat and tiny today. <laughs> and we're going to make a uh, background papers that we'll either then stencil on, cut up, make collage art cards with. We'll see. Hi, Nanamo. Happy Monday to you, too. So um, I put them on here. And first I did with my hand. I picked up all the colors. Well, I mean, I like tapped into all the colors and then I smeared them around. So we this is what we're calling today 
<laughs> smash. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna do smash. We're gonna make a mess. <laughs> Rather than smash and dragon. Okay, so I use my hand on this one using all the colors that I put out. And we're going to do the same thing with new colors. And I did just put out uh, some paper towel so that when I went off the edge, it wasn't going everywhere. Smash this one. Then I went back with a little bit of a palette knife and kind of made a little bit of texture in there. Then this one was... Oh, and then I took... This was the next one, and I just took my fingers and just did. And you can do it all different ways. You know, I got a couple of catalysts out here. I got my palette knife. We can use a brush. We can do whatever. And then this one I did with my fingers. I'm really just trying to use these color combinations, okay? Then the last one, I took the leftover paint and did the smash. What did I call it a minute ago? Not smack and dragon, but smack and whatever <laughs> we're gonna smack we're just gonna use the leftover paint off of the wax paper and then you get a whole different look right and then you go back and you can either just randomly like a lot of times we'll just randomly cut these up into postcards size and you can always cut them down even to smaller either atc or art card uh size but we'll cut them down to postcard size. You can just cut them up and then stencil on them or then add collage. Sometimes we've collage stuff on, then cut them up. We're going to cut them up first and then add extra detail. Uh, what frightened you as a kid? Nana Mo said something frightened her as a kid. I don't know what frightened her. Smack and smash. <laughs> Yeah, smack and smash. There we go. Thanks, Terry. Smack and smash. Because we're going to smack and smash rather than smack and drag. We're going to smack and smash. Okay. Um, let's see. I thank you, Pacola. Good morning, my little Snapdragon. <laughs> Love saying that. Uh, thank you, Dabers. Well, I didn't make the color combinations up. I'm using the color, I'm using the color cube cards, right? Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, you could use them as journal page. You could just cut, you know, just, just use them as is. I'm using some card stock. It's like 60 weight card stock, I think. And uh, I got a stack of it over here so we can, um, uh, and I think it's just Hobby Lobby. It's just Hobby Lobby brand, uh, card stock, you know, so we're going to use that. Uh, that way we can cut them up into four by six and then you can stencil collage and again we've all done a gazillion uh <laughs> a gazillion painty paid you know backgrounds and but we're gonna you know using the color cubes i just like using the color cubes i i love them i bought them i want to use them so all right so that was this this stack right here was from this one okay all right, so now we're good. Oh, sorry, guys. Hit the camera. So now, and I can still use some of this wax paper. So I'm going to put that, and it will take a minute. I'll probably have to get out the heat tool and get things. Let's brighten this up. Uh, get out the heat tool and uh, uh, it's a little too bright. There we go. <clears throat> and, uh, and dry them before we put stencils and other things on them. And then we will find areas that we like in the cards. All right, so let's start here. All right, so the next one we'll do, let's go ahead and just pick the next one off the top, which are these blues. And uh, we might, let's see, I might move, do I need, probably need to move these over here. I don't know. Oh, I kind of want the cards here, but mm, all right, let's see. Here. Let's adjust the camera. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so we did this one. We're going to do this one. Turn it down. Just a, I'm trying to get everything in frame there because I'm going to try to go big. Go big here. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Hi, Kel. Anybody else I miss? Melissa. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Put it in caps if you're talking to me. So when I glance over, and I glance over constantly. I'm constantly glancing over at the chat and looking for caps. Not that you can't talk to me in uh, lowercase. I might catch it, but I really look. Oh, you want the numbers on them? Okay. All right. This one was 333, three, three, the first one we did. 
that I did yesterday for my sample. That was 333. This one is 432. 432. And by the way, speaking of lists and stuff, Pacola's been sending me anybody. And if I if there's anybody here or if any if I miss anybody in the forest fibs. And I think the um, hashtag is Forest Book Collage. I haven't been doing it as much as Kathleen. <laughs> I mean, Colleen. See, I want to put Kathy and Colleen together and make it Kathleen. But it's Kathy Berg and Colleen, um, uh, CK Art Colleen. And they, um, they stream on Tuesdays and they rotate between each other. Now, I think Colleen had another foot surgery, so I'm not sure. If Kathy comes in today, I'll ask her and see if they are, in fact, streaming tomorrow. But anyway, Pacola's been keeping uh, the list for me, and I try to write it down every time she tells me somebody for the forest fibs. And so let me tell you who we have so far. There's me, Colleen, CKR Colleen, Kathy Berg, Deb E., Brenda Francom, and I don't know Brenda, Stephanie G., Shelly Allred, Leah Foy, Jane Litterick. Now, those are the ones that I know for sure are doing the forest fibs. If anybody else is doing it that I missed, let me know. Uh, I think they changed that, Jane, because that was taken. Uh, Jane, that, that hashtag was taken. So it's just forest fibs, hashtag forest book collage. So hi, Marlene. Did I miss saying hi to you? So, oh, Terry Brett. Okay, Terry. See, I knew I'd miss somebody. I'm probably the first person that started doing it other than us. Uh, let me write that down. Terry, Terry Brett. Anybody else here that is doing the, and when I say that, it's, you don't have to use this exact book, but a book, this one or one similar. And again, I I added reimagining on there, but it's this is the one that started Forest by Carrie and Connolly. And the idea behind this particular book, rather than doing reverse collage where we paint things out, we just just do simple, I say simple, uh collage, just gluing things in without adding a bunch of paint and everything like that. A couple of the uh, uh, girls have different books in this, but they're similar. And so just find something similar. But this is the one that we started with uh, was Kieran Connolly's Forest. So <clears throat> anyway, so if there's anybody else I missed, I'll try to catch you. Hi, Annette. Okay, so I have my little list over here. I keep everything in my post-its or in my uh, Society of Idea Collectors. All right, so let's see. Little Sister Cheryl. I said hi to Pamela. Uh, Janet's asking if everybody wants to play Pictionary today. You know everybody loves your Pictionary, Janet. <laughs> okay, Janet streams at 1 after me. Uh, I said hi to View and Raul. Who else am I missing? Okay, <clears throat> so <coughs> these colors. I want like a kind of like a tan color, maybe a peat. Let's see, is this going to be too? That might be a little too brown. This one might be a little too pink. It's almost a little bit like this with some white in it. So, and I, you know, I, I can't say I'm going to match every single color exactly, but we're going to try to come close. I think this is kind of a combo of these two. Well, maybe, maybe it's a little more. No, that's too pink. And these, here we go. This color. Now this one's a ceram coat, but it doesn't, you know, doesn't matter. Just any kind of a, what do you call it? A crap paint. All right. So we got this. I, I won't put it out till I find them all. So I don't start drying out under the lights. All right. So there's this color. Then this is kind of a purpley blue, and I think I did have that one sort of picked out the other day. Yeah, that's this color, I think, close to that one. That's almost kind of in between those two. This needs almost needs some either lighter version or white in it, and I think I'm going to have to add some white so that I have this color and a lighter color. So that will we'll add some white to that to make a couple different versions of that. And then a kind of a navy blue. And I can't, I don't know how well it looks on cam. I mean, how similar they look on camera. Uh, reds especially really, really go uh, bright on camera. 
Okay, but that's kind of a navy. Let's see, that's like that one. And then this almost looks black. It is black <laughs> on the back side. Um, I try to go off of this because I just like the way that looks. But all right, so black. All right, so there we go. Plus, we'll add some white here. Okay, so let me get a white. There we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make these colors up. And then we're going to make a mess. Y'all ready? <laughs> Always make sure you shake all your paints every day. Even if I use it yesterday, you need to shake it today because the oils do separate in the paint. So you always want to make sure you shake it up. Okay. So we're going to go with this color. And I'm just putting about that much out because I'm, you know, we'll do, we'll, we'll try to do three pieces of paper out of what I throw down. Okay. So we're going to have this color. Plus, we're going to have this color with white. <clears throat> so we're going to lighten that one up. Are y'all excited? <laughs> y'all excited to make a mess? <laughs> and I do have somewhere, I have my, bed. here we go. Don't look, Janet. I got my baby wipes handy. So <laughs> we'll have the baby wipes handy to to uh, clean hands and all that. I'll roll up my sleeves a little bit here. There we go. All right. <clears throat> now, let's, before we do anything, let's go ahead and make this a lighter color here. Let's make a lighter color, maybe a little bit more white. So we'll have a lighter shade, a lighter shade of that. Not by much. And it really, it really is going to, they're going to be, it's going to be a hot mess anyway. Right. So, all right. So let's get a, let me move these cards over here. Get a couple sheets of paper. And I did put down paper towels so that it kind of protected the desk a little. All right. There we go. Y'all ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. So the first one I did was just a big sm smash and smash and uh, <laughs> not smack and drag. I kind of smashed a dragon with my hands. Okay, hi Flo. Anybody else coming in? And hello, lurkers. Thanks for being here. Those in the balcony. Some people don't like the word lurkers. It doesn't bother me. Lurkers, balcony, whatever. You know, those on the on the outskirts. Those on the outskirts of town. Come on in. Come on into the town. <laughs> All right, so what I did first was just pick up some colors like this. This is how I did it at first, and I just kind of did this. And I'll pick up some more and just kind of, and you can put a lot or a little, you know. You can put, this might be just enough to start, you know. You can put a lot or a little, because that kind of, you want to you see your colors too. And then if you see some area that might need some more of that color, or, you know, whatever. You can do more. All right. So this is our first one. I'm just going to, and we'll have to dry them before we can do other things with it. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of get some of the excess off there. Kind of a swirl pattern. The first one, and that's what I did on the other one too. The first one I did was kind of a swirl pattern. But look, saw those colors. All right. So let's put that behind me and hope the cat doesn't come in. Then the second one I did, I took... And we'll do maybe, well, maybe on this one we'll do more than three because I want to test out a couple other things that I didn't use yesterday. All right, so now I'm going to put like, I'm just going to kind of put kind of like this. And you can do whatever you want. You can twist, you can smear, you can, you know, again, we're going to cut this up. So I should kind of try to go toward the edges so we, you know, can use all parts of the page all right so there's those colors say so look there's all our colors right there <laughs> all right let's put that one to the side then the next one i think we'll do is use this catalyst here Jan jan is probably freaking out <laughs> all right so let's see what we can do with some smears let's do some you know let's do some catalyst smears here See, right? Some black in there. Are we having fun yet? I am. Because <laughs> I want to make a bunch of painty papers. 
So I don't haven't made painty papers in a while. And so I wanted to make some using my color cubes. All right, so there's that one. Now let's take, maybe we'll make about five of each color. Because at the end, the last one I do is smash off the uh, excess right there. All right, so now let's clean that off a little. Now let's take the smaller one. I have not even used this. But look, this is, look, Janet, this is how my handles get all messy. See? Broke in. All right, so let's take some of this and just, let's take some of the colors here and just maybe make some, make some stripes. And again, I want to use, I want to try to go as far to the edge as I can because we're going to cut these up. <clears throat> it's not supposed to be pretty. This is the freeing part of your art. <laughs> Free you up. All right. So there we go. So we'll do that one. And maybe we'll take a little bit of, uh, let's take a little bit of the, um, Take a little bit of black here. Get some to toward the edges. All right, there we go. All right, so there's those colors again. And you have to remember we're going to be using, um, let me see if I can get to it without making too much of a mess. My hands are still. We're going to be doing selections, right? Okay. All right. So let's move this one and for the last one. So that's four. I got to watch for Malibu. I really should close the door because she'll come in here and not knowing walk on these, right? Okay, so let's clean these off a little. Whoops. I should just get a baby. Have to do a little cleaning in between. Just a little, not too much, Janet. Just a little so that the colors are. You know, we keep the colors on the cards rather than getting uh, extra colors mixed in. All right. So then this, here's where we do the smack and smash. Ready? Janet's going to need some of <laughs> Right? For y'all who don't know, Janet is very clean. She likes things very clean. You know, when she sees like my baby wipe jar box here. But, you know, it's the same one. I just buy the plastic things to refill. So I don't have to buy a new box every time. Same thing for my mouse. <laughs> my keypad's not too bad. My keyboard's not too bad, but. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So this is what's left. This is what's left. And we're going to do a smack. And this almost is going to be probably your favorite one because it's so random, right? Okay, so I got a couple uses out of this wax paper. All right, so now I will get a new wax paper for the next round. All right, so there we go. So there's those colors. So what do y'all think? Was that fun? <laughs> See, they can look like so many things. As long as my hand is dry, I don't care if it cakes up. I'll go. I'll go use my craft scrubby to get my hands really clean in a little bit. I just don't want the colors to be contaminated from one card color to the next card color, right? <clears throat> All right. So as long as they're dry, I don't have to have it like, you know, my hands don't have to be perfectly clean. All right. So let's see. Well, let me dry them a little. All right. So let's move that. That was number 432. We're going back to these. <laughs> We're going back to these in a little bit. So there's five, five of those. <coughs> All right. So now we're going to go with these colors. Um, let's see. I might need to get some more paper towels. Where's, where's my paper towels? It was either this or get out the jelly plate. And, you know, we, if you want to watch jelly plate, you need to watch Devin. Watch our Devin jelly plate. Okay, I'll, I'll keep this because I'll turn it, I'll let it dry, and then I'll turn it over. So I'll just kind of move it down there for now. Okay, so let's put down another one here. All right, we'll keep, continue to use it as much as we can. All right, <clears throat> so now, 
Let's get the next one. All right, let's pick these colors, shall we? <laughs> this is number 325. And this is kind of a, kind of a, let's see here. Is it this kind of blue maybe? Is it that? No, it's not. That's too purple. Ah, here we go. This is more of it. No, that's too gray. Hang on. This one maybe or this one? Let's see. Got a couple of them here. Let's see which one of these two. It's probably this one. Yeah, that one. And this one's a folk art. So this is a folk art. I'm just going by color. You know? So there's a folk art. Well, there we go. Then we need kind of a yellow ochre color. Let's see. I have a yellow ochre handy. That's too dull. I need a brighter. I don't want a metallic, though. It's easy to get into the metallics. Oh, here we go. No, that's not yellow enough. Let's see. Here we go. This one. There we go. This is deep ochre. Um, let's see. Do you the car mechanic of the hard world? Oh my gosh, Tina, 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 you know what this means, right? <laughs> Where's my pen? Oh, I can't find my Sharpie. Where's my Sharpie pen? Tina. All right, well, I'll have to just use a regular pen. I can't find, oh, here it is right here. <laughs> Tina. <laughs> <laughs> this goes in the wing nut book. <clears throat> car mechanic of the art world <laughs> Tina T all right let me get out the um uh, let me get out the wing notebook my hands are still dry so <laughs> So here's the wing nut book, which Janet would probably uh, promptly have this organized, dated, in plastic sleeves. <laughs> uh, it's just for anybody that says anything, you know, quippy, quotey, quick witted. It's a wing nut book because, you know, we're all just a bunch of wing nuts. <laughs> Oh, Tina, that was good. I like that, Tina. All right. <clears throat> All right, I'll throw that baby wipe away because we're going to start new colors. <laughs> good one. Let's see. Who else am I missing? Hi, Marguerite, Melissa. Uh, let's see. I said hi to Missy. Anybody else I'm missing? Good morning. Okay, here we go. So we got those two colors. Now I need a kind of a burnt orange color. That one's pretty close. Kind of a red. It's red alert. That's more the fourth color. Let's find something a little more orange. For the third one, this one. It's a little light, but it's. Let's see, what else do I have here? Let's try this one. No, I think that's close to the same. Oh, let's see. What about this one? No, that's brighter. Um, maybe this one. Not, they're not that much different. Okay, we'll go with those then. And then uh, for the fourth color is like a burgundy, isn't it? Crimson, but it's like a burgundy color. I think I have one of those pulled. There we go. All right, so here's the colors we got, we got pulled for this. Okay, there's the colors we got pulled for this one. Y'all ready for another session? Another paint sash? <laughs> I wish Denise was here. She'd be totally freaking out as well. She would not even, she would not do this project. Just saying. She would not do this project with me. <laughs> not even for my birthday month. She would not. All right. So here we go. Let's get a piece of wax paper. Fresh piece of wax paper. <laughs> Isn't this fun, guys? I'm telling you, I'm having a blast. I just gotta roll up my sleeve. This shirt's kind of new. It won't last, it won't be new long. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. Shake everything up. This one's almost empty. I hope I have enough in there. I might have to dig out another one. Okay, so here is uh that one. 
I'm trying to kind of keep them kind of handy, the ones we're using until after, so in case I need some extra. <coughs> I have them all stacked up all over the place. All right. And then some of this. Okay, this is uh, deep ochre. Then this this is uh, spiced pumpkin. This one is red alert, and I haven't even opened this one. Is this a new color? I don't know. Red alert, and deep burgundy. Look how pretty they look just like that, right? Love this. I love doing this. <laughs> so here's our colors. Let me pull up on the paper. Here we go. There you go. If you want to take a screenshot for those color combinations. You don't have to match them exactly. Here's the color names that they gave to them. If you want that side. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right, we're going to do the hand, the fingers first. And I'll probably mix it up as we go, you know. Painting with a splash of laughter. That's good too, Raul. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to write that down. I like that because that's a that's joyful. <laughs> I like that, Raul. Painting with a Splash of laughter. That's going to go in the wing nut book. There we go. Roll. Thank you, Roll. All right, I'm going to set it to the side for a minute until I can get up and get the wing nut book again. So I put it back on the shelf already. All right, here we go. So I'm going to go one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Oh, now I can't take that down. I only have one hand. Let's see if I can do this with my other hand. Let's see if I can click on There we go. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Let's see what we can do here. Let's do this. I'm just picking up the same colors. There's something different on each one. Let's turn it over. Turn it over. Uh-oh. My bad. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't last. <laughs> Let's see if I can get it off. Yeah, there we go. I got it off while it's wet. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. So there's that one. Now, do I want to take a little bit of... Let's just kind of go with it here. Let's a little more of this red here. Just kind of roll with it. I don't want to. I don't want to mix it so much that you can't. You know that it just makes mud. I want to keep the colors as you know the same purity as I can, so that we can. But I want to try to get so, as much to the edge and stuff as possible because we're going to cut these up, right? Let's get a little more orange right in here. There we go. All right. So there's the first one. Again, here's our page. Here's our inspiration. Should take the bracelets off. Mm, you know, I rarely get anything on the bracelets. It's always on my sleeves. All right. So who's dinging me? Why am I getting dinged? Somebody messaging me. Oh, that's okay family thing. All right, so there's that one. All right, let's see. I'm going to have to kind of stack these and hope they don't stick. I'm going to stack the blue ones. Make a new stack, a new uh, pile, you know, stretch them out over here behind me. Got to keep an eye on for Malibu. All right, another sheet. All right, let's take the wedge again. Let's take the wedge. See what we can do with that. All right. <laughs> All right, let's take these first two colors. Okay, then let's take these two colors. 
then we'll take the yellow and the blue. Go back over here a little. There we go. Okay, I'm kind of just liking this. Let's get a little right here. All right, there's a second one. Remember, we're cutting these up. All right, there's a second one. Third one. Let's see. What do we want to do? Do we want to do more smashy? And then the last one we'll do. This will we'll probably only do. Well, I like to do five because that's about how much paint I can use up. Right? Five uses up most of the paint. Okay, so here's another one. All right, let's see. Hi, Christopher, you're, you're missing the mess. Okay, so this one, <laughs> these are the colors. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and take the, the small little catalyst here. Let's see what we can do. <clears throat> okay, now let's go ahead and take the palette knife. Let's go with some of that. Then we will do the smash. See, I'm trying to get all the way to the edge here because when we cut them up, we don't want a lot of white space. I mean, some is good, of course, but. So we're making painted cards, um, painted backgrounds. All right, there we go. A little more up there. All right, so there's the second one, uh, third one. All right, so we're only going to do four on this one because I want to do lots of colors. So we're going to take another sheet here and we're going to do the smack and smash. Instead of smack and dragon, smack and smash. Y'all ready? Smack and smash. Smack and smash. Oh, I might have enough to do a whole nother one. Let's see. Oh, oh, no. No, no, no. Not the card. Let's clean that card off now. <laughs> That's why they're uh, coated paint cards, I think. Because, uh, yeah, they know. Okay, there we go. I might, this might be it. All right, let's go down here. I pretty much used used up the paint on this. All right. There we go. I'll let this dry because then I can use the back side of it. So I'll set that down there to dry with the other drying things. All right. So this is kind of thick, though, in some places. It's kind of thick. That means it's going to take a while to dry. So it's probably best if I can kind of smooth it out a little because otherwise we'll be here trying to wait for it to dry for hours okay there we go that's good all right there's the fourth one of those all right so that's enough of that one now let's go on to a new card so that was this one so we've done we've done these three well i did this one yesterday we did these two so far all right so now and that was number 325 all right, let's go on with, uh, here's some browns. All right, so let's go with, this is number 328. And uh, let's see, slate gray, charcoal, which I'll just go with black here, eggplant, which is, uh, there, my egg, there's a name for the eggplant that we have. It's not eggplant, it's not raw umber, but that's closest. But there's, it's called mushroom, I think. Dark chocolate's pretty good, but I think there's one called mushroom that's pretty close to that color. That's right. Okay, then we need peach, which in this case, it's really kind of like cream color. Okay. <clears throat> this is uh, oyster beige. <coughs> copper, which I do have a copper. I did pull out the me metallics. Hang on. Let's see. That's bronze. Where's uh that's rose gold. Where's my copper? I did pull out worn penny, rich espresso. That's probably no. It's almost gold color. Let's see. 
glorious gold. We're going to go glorious gold and rust, which that will go with, uh, we'll go with worn penny for rust. All right, so here's the colors we're going with. Here's the colors we're going with. There we go. Okay. If y'all want to screeny it. Hi, Leona. All right. There's the colors we're going with. All right. So that's another piece of wax paper. We've got a couple more to do, and then we're going to dry, clean, and cut. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's get a piece of paper. Where's my wax paper? All right, here we go. Put it in caps if you're talking to me. All right, here we go. So we got our gray, and always shake them, guys. Please clean. <laughs> Just look away for a little bit. Okay, so there's a gray. Let's put a little more so we can maybe do five. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to move these colors to the side so we can have our new colors here. Then we have black. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Quit rolling. No rolling. I don't really want to hold it down either. All right, so here's black. Uh, char oh, this one might be empty dark chocolate. Let me get another one. <clears throat> Wrong number. Okay. Let's see. Then oyster. <laughs> then gold and a copper penny. Let's put the copper up here so the metallics are separated. There we go. All right, so here's the colors. Here's the card. Come on, quit rolling. There we go. Okay, there we go. There we go. If y'all were interested in the... <laughs> you like how we're using all the color cards, Anne? Thanks. You have these, don't you, Anne? Don't you have the color cards? The color cubes? All right, so here we go. And after this, I still have three more I wanted to use. So we're gonna we're gonna make a few. We got time, and I might cut some up and send give do some giveaways where y'all can make your own collages on top of the co color combinations. You do? Okay, Anne. Have you got messy yet, Anne? <laughs> Anne. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we did is our fingers and our hands. So um, how many colors? There's six colors here. Well, we'll go with a couple here. All right, here we go. Let's see, we need a little bit more gold in there. Put a little more gold down here, maybe a little black down here. I'm trying to stay on the paper towel. Sometimes it's not working too good. All right, I need a little bit more blue, I think, or the slate gray. A little more copper. There we go. A little more copper here. There we go. All right. There's that one. Oh, I gotta stack these other ones up. I don't, I don't, I have to be careful when I stack them up that I don't let them stick together because I haven't hit. I haven't dried these with the heat tool yet. And I don't want them to all stick together. You know what I mean? All right. So there's that one. That one's, that one's really nice. I really like that. Although we did get a little bit of a line going across. Okay. There we go. All right. Now let's see what we can do here. We'll just clean the hand off here. All right. Let's see. Get some more. I like that. I like that wave look. So let's do that again. All right, let's turn it over. Okay. All right. I'm liking that. Again, it's not going close enough to the edge because I don't want to waste all the edges if we don't have to because we're cutting these up. All right, there's a second one. 
Okay, maybe let's use the little catalyst here and get a little bit here in the middle here. A little gold down here. A little more copper. Let's see, a little more copper up here. Maybe a little more blue. Are y'all getting inspired? Are y'all writing things down? Write the ideas down. I don't think I don't expect y'all be doing this while I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. So there's that. It's got the copper and the gold in there. Again, jelly plating might be, well, I don't know if jelly plating is clean, neater. I can't really say that it is. But if you want to see, and I didn't do jelly plating today. I thought about it, but I thought, you know what? Y'all just go watch Devin. <laughs> just go watch Devin with the jelly plating. All right. So now let's just get another color. Um, and let's use the catalyst now. Let's get quite a bit on there. Let's see what we can do. I like that. Black down there. Okay. Now let's see. All right. Let me wipe that off so that the next colors aren't getting in there. Now let's take let's take our palette knife and let's do let's do a little. Oops. Move the car. Move all that. Okay. <laughs> you, you like uh, uh, Devin's uh, jelly plating too? I know, right? All right, Cheryl. I think Cheryl said that. <clears throat> okay. These don't want to stay together. All right, let's get a little bit more of that, that uh, gray in there. And a little bit more of the red penny color in there. Okay, there we go. All right, so there's that. That's three of those. Let's do one more with the smash. All right, let's do one more with the smash for this color. We'll go for 20 more minutes on this. And then we're going to have to start drying and cutting up. And um, again, I'm going to give away some of these um, when they're cut down for you to play with. Let's see, um, Kristen, anybody else I missed? All right, so here we go. We're going to do the smack and smash rather than the smack and drag it. Here's our colors again. This is the colors we're using right now. Close enough. Rust, I'm using copper. All right, here we go. All right, so we're going to do smack and smash. Lots of smash. Let's move the card. <laughs> All right. There we go. And I'm going to throw this away. It's really, that was really torn up. There we go. So there's the, another one. Oh, I, I had another one under there. Okay, let's do this then. Let's see what we can do. Use up some of that extra paint. That's kind of thick. There it is. We got two out of that one. All right. Let's get a little bit more black in there. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All right. Next. So we did get five out of that one. Again, I'm trying to keep my eye on, on making sure Malibu doesn't come in here. But I think she's freaking out of all the papers being thrown on the floor. So she's probably good. All right. Paint's dry, so we're ready to go. Oh, let's move that card out of the way. So those are the colors. With This one was number 328, if you're following along. All right. Then we're going to get another piece of wax paper. I think this one, is this one dry enough? I think it might be dry enough if I fold it in half. So we have another little spot there. All right. Um, 
remember we got our uh we have our viewfinders for a little in a little while all right next next we're having fun <laughs> all right so next we got let's see let's do something a little kind of different here let's go with pinks and greens all right so this one is number 405 smoke white we'll just go with white white light pink some of these I already have pulled from another the other project light pink hot pink hot pink this blush is almost this magenta color so we just need another shade of pink something in between those two this hot pink you know a lot of the same color oh, that's a little different all right so we're going to go with those three pinks and then what's the other one kale which is like an olive green let's see olive green all right there we go there we go there's our colors those two look very similar they're a little different but when i add some white in there it'll be okay so there we go there's our colors y'all ready y'all ready wait for it this one's gonna be fun too they're all fun all right let's come over here on the side and shake it hi bobini yes it, it's fun to feel happy and just watching you play oh thanks bobini <clears throat> yeah it is very freeing veil okay so there's some white i'm putting about this much it seems to make oh let's move the other colors off so we can put our fresh colors on um yeah it is very fun and freeing okay then the light pink and this makes about five pages or so all right so there's that color then these are almost the same do i want them or do i want to get i think i want this one and one darker maybe one darker like i'm not quite magenta but that's too that's pretty close kind of a raspberry they're calling it blush that's they're calling that blush it's kind of a raspberry color which this is uh santa red but it looks kind of raspberry do i have a better raspberry oh this one it's kind of the same oh wait here we go here we go that one okay i try to keep the colors i got pinks and purples in these in the little uh plastic cubes on the bottom tier of my marker build i have first i have inks in front then i have the black cubes behind it and in the black cubes i have my acrylic paints i got pinks and purples browns tans pinks and blushes oranges yellows greens teals and blues so one two three four five six i have eight cubes that i have all the colors and then the the uh, metallics are in in a drawer right behind me because i don't use those that much but i have metallics which i have silver gold copper you know i think i have six different colors of I have green and a blue metallic um, so, yeah, I have a lot of metallics, too, but I, I keep those in a drawer over here. I don't have room in here, so. All right, here we go. I'm liking these colors. All right, there we go. Can't really see those, but there we go. Okay, there's the, let's put them on here so you can see. There's the colors. Okay, Tina, thanks for stopping in. Hope mom's doing well. I haven't heard from you in a few days, so I hope everything's okay. All right, we're going to start with rolling up, pulling up the sleeves a little bit again. Okay, so we're going to start with, we've got five colors. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do some, let's do some, uh, let's do some. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's kind of this kind of looks like what happens when we do the uh, what do you call it? The turning over the whole thing there. Okay, let's get a couple more. It's almost looking like a field of flowers.
Okay, there we go. There's one. I'll just put a little more green up here. There we go. All right, there's one. <laughs> oh, wait, I got a stack. I got to make stacks here. Hopefully, I'm not gluing them all together because they're not dry. I'm trying to spread them out a little. Okay, so then we'll do a, let's do two, three, four, five. I don't know if I got all the right fingers, but okay, I'm gonna do some smudge and smears. Okay, there's that. There's that one. Are we flashed out? I don't know. I keep putting white paper up here and then color, and it's probably my camera's probably going, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm not zoomed in because we're not really. I'll zoom in when we start cutting up and doing stuff. Hi, Shelly. All right, let's see. Let's take, uh, where's the catalyst here? Let's take the catalyst. And let's do some things with that. I'm trying to skim it to keep it kind of textury, you know, rather than just a solid smash. Okay, so I'm liking that. Okay, we're going to leave that. Let's put a little green up here. Okay, there's that one. All right, let's do two more. We've got enough, I think. All right, let me wipe this down. Get, let's take off some of that. Let's just put that down on there. Okay, fresh baby wipe. There, that's clean, Janet. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do with this. <clears throat> okay. Now let's take some of the, isn't this cool looking? Oh, I just love it. I don't know if y'all are, but I'm feeling it. I'm feeling this one. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Okay, and the last one, we'll do the mash. We'll do the mash, the monster mash. All right. This one cleans up pretty quick. <laughs> I do too, Shelly. All right, so now it's time for the smack and smash. And I think we can put another sheet over the top of it again. Let's see. These look like roses. Okay, I think we pretty much used that up. Okay, there's that one. Fresh wax paper. <clears throat> All right. We have two more to go. Then we got to dry these babies. I'll put y'all on mute because it's going to take a minute. So that was these colors. This was number 405. Next, got two more. I have this yellow <clears throat> kind of 70s colors. Avocado, well, it's not really avocado, but kind of avocado. More sagey, uh, you know, orange and yellow. Those are the brown. These are like the 70s colors. So we got those. And let's go ahead and do the purple one first, which is 408. 408. All right. Paper. Wax paper. If y'all missed the beginning where I showed the, my new uh, sci science fiction SF books. See, uh, um, I'm not calling it sci-fi now. Okay, let's see. 
um let's let's move those off and see what colors i can pick from those two all right so this one is number <clears throat> 408 we have amethyst royal blue royal blue another purple they're calling them both royal blue dark purple and black so let's see what i got already over here we got black uh let's see i've got a kind of a um uh, dioxine purple which is you know going to cover probably two of those a lavender kind of color and what was the other one a green no black dark purple royal blue i'm going to need a lighter purple here that one's kind of they're kind of let's just go with those in white Okay, I don't have, this is a dark, I mean, I can mix those to black and purple, but I think I'm going to add a white to it. <clears throat> okay, so that's what we're going to use for this one, because we can. <coughs> Hi, Dana. Dee Dee, where are the paint cards from? They are from Sarah Renee Clark. Here, let me take the lid off of one. Here we go. There's two volumes. There's two color cubes. Sarah Renee Clark. You have to get them from her website, Amazon. I mean, no, not Amazon. She's not on Amazon. Instagram, Facebook, or her website. Look up Color Cube Sarah Renee Clark. And you can buy the first one or the second one. There's a total of 500 cards. Um, if you buy both, there's 250 in each box. I watched them for about a year before I bought them, but I finally broke down. Okay, here we go. Let's shake them all up. Okay, so I want to put out some white. Well, let's put it here. A couple of, three shades of purple and black. That one's crusted over. All right, after these two cards, then we're going to start drying and cutting up. We're going to cut up. Okay. Dark purple, dioxazine purple, and black. All right. There we go. Y'all ready? Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I've got some on there. Now let's take let's take our uh, palette knife here. Let's let's. All right, there we go. Let's do some black. Black's always good with a palette knife because it really stands out. You know what I mean? You really see that texture. A little bit. Of this. And if y'all are just joining us, remember, we're going to cut these up. Let's put some white on top of this right here. All right, there's one. Okay. Oh, I'm out of room. Hang on. There's one. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> okay, there we go. I'm going to fill in i'm gonna fill in just some of these little edges there because like i said we're gonna cut these up all right there's that one there's another one underneath here okay now we'll do the wedge again do the wedge let's give it a wedgie <laughs> let's give it a wedgie <laughs> okay
Okay. There's that one. It needs a little bit of purple down in here. Maybe a little more magenta color. Put a little bit more up here. There we go. All right. One more. We're going to do a smash. And maybe we can get two out of that one. All right. Fresh baby wipe. Or three. <laughs> you like that one, Cheryl? <laughs> oh, okay. So this one was number 408. All right. Now I'm going to put that to the side while I do this last two. Because I think I can get two out of what's left here if we put it, smash them together. All right. Let's see here. All right. So now we're going to do the smack and smash. Okay, throw that away. And now let's do a like a lift off of whatever. This is my here's our my version for today of jelly plating. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I could even if I wanted to, here. <laughs> Devin's not here. No, Devin, we're doing this is my version of jelly plate today. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. We didn't get too much on there, but <laughs> let's just kind of smash, smash it off here and see what we can get. <laughs> you like that, Pacola? <laughs> All right, we got a, we got enough there though. <laughs> okay. All right, we got one more to go. One more to go. All right. That's these yellow, those uh, 70s colors. All right, so let's push this to the side. Okay, let's get some cards here. Get another piece of wax paper. This is the last one. I thought we'd be done by 10. We're almost done by 10. All right. Okay, let's see. We got white. A bright, nice bright yellow. Let's get a nice bright yellow. Nice bright yellow and orange. A nice bright orange. Let's get a nice bright orange. A brown. I already got a brown out here somewhere, I think. Well, let's see. I can get another brown if I need to. This one was almost so just a regular brown. Oh, that's more. This one's more maroon. That needs to go on that side. Here we go. Well, it's burn number. I already pulled a burn number, but we'll pull up our number again. Uh, and a kind of a foresty green color. Let's see, which one of these two colors of green do I want? Probably this one. I'm not sure. Hunter green. We got uh, forest green and Hauser green dark. I think we'll just go with this one. Okay. All right. And this is number 403. This one would be fun with a group of people at a table. You'd have to, yeah, but you know what? You couldn't invite Janet. You couldn't invite Angie. You couldn't invite my daughter, Denise. It's not for everybody. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so there's some white. Some yellow. Some orange. This is definitely a seven. This one's kind of clogged up. Let's see. Oh, I got another one. Um, this is uh, definitely a 70s kind of. Uh, we'd have to find some like vintage 70s kitchen or something. <laughs> uh, collage, to collage with. Okay. Brown. And a green. Okay, there we go. Let's hold this up here for you. 
There we go. Those colors. There's some names. Well, they name them. I don't, I don't really pay attention to the names. But there you go. Okay, here we go. Last last five. Y'all ready? <laughs> My hands are dry enough. <laughs> I think. Crumbs are falling off. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Bam! Okay, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, there's the first one. There's the first one. I'm out of room. Okay, second one. Let's just wipe our hand off here. Let's get the wedge. Let's get those three colors. Do those three colors again. Look how cool that looks, right? Very psychedelic, very 70s. All right, let's do the last, let's do the orange, yellow, and white. Let's go this way. There we go, this way. I'm going to just have to be all Peter Max. Now, he didn't use these colors. He used, he would have used purple, pink, magenta, <laughs> blue. All right, there we go. There's the second one. Is that the second one? All right, let's do a mash and a, and a uh, print off, you know. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's clean, Janet. If nothing comes off of it, it's clean. <laughs> I love, Janet and I love teasing each other. I'm just saying. All right, here we go. This has got a lot on it, so we'll get another print off of this, right? All right, here we go. So let's see what we can do. All right, so we got that. Now let's kind of okay, Jackson Pollock. <laughs> All right, so let's now uh, take a clean sheet and let's do a. <laughs> Is it fun, Leona? I hope so. We're having fun on a Monday. You know, you don't see this every day on a Monday, do you? <laughs> Color pollen. All right, there we go. All right, so we got those two. All right, so now I'm going to clean all this up. I'm going to wash my hands. We are going to start drying. Okay, let's see. This is, does have quite a bit of paint in certain spots. This, let's do a little, let's take one of these and do a little twist here. Just to kind of because there's a lot of paint and it's going to take forever to dry if I, if, if, you know, I want to dry it. Okay. Let's see this one too. There's quite a bit of paint. Let's do some swirls. In. A lot of paint. There we go. Kind of dulled it down a little bit. That's okay. All right. Punch off those. All right, so this was number 403. All right, now I'm going to go and I'm going to take a craft scrubby to my hands, Janet. <laughs> Janet probably left 20 minutes ago. I, I can't take any more of this. <laughs> All right, let me go. Uh, let me just get the bulk of it off my hand. Hang on.
yet and get all of it off. Even with the craft scrubby, I mean, it'll take me about five minutes and I don't want to take that long. So I got the bulk of it off. Now let me kind of, kind of get some of the crusty. Eh, not too bad. My nails, you still got some there. But it'll, it, as long as it's not coming off on my projects. So now my hands are all red, but that's okay. All right. So now I need to dry. So I'm going to watch chat. I'm going to mute. I'm going to mute and dry for a couple minutes. Okay. So I'll, you can, if you say anything, just ask it in chat and I, I can stop typing for a minute. And uh, let me put Lowell's thing up here and he's in the uh, smack. And, I mean, in the wing nut book. There we go. Um, I'll watch chat while y'all uh, talk amongst yourselves while I dry these a little bit. Some of them will be really dry, but you don't want to hear this. Hear the heat tool going for a couple minutes. Okay, so I'm going to mute. I'll, I'm still watching chat, though. Hi, Bobini. All right, so this is this is the last set we did, and it's the wettest. So I'm going to go back to one of the other colors. So we can start cutting up, you know, so we can start doing something with them. Let's see here. The purples. So they are starting to stick together a little bit because they're not dry, you know. So I don't want them to all peel apart. All right, let's see. All right. Oh, stacking, stacking. I like these silver. I like all of them. I like these. Maybe I'll we'll start with these five. This is copper, and I'll have to hit it with the heat gun just a little bit, but I've got these separated out now. All right. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stacks. All right. I'm going to mute for a second and just make sure these are dry before I pull out the uh, my big. Uh, cutter. Let's turn down the brightness. It's got a little flashed out. There we go. That's better. All right. Hang on, guys.
Okay, we got enough to start with. The others can dry behind me for a minute. So yeah, Devin, I just saw you come in. We said, uh, I, I, this is my version of uh, making painty papers. And if you want to see jelly pr printing, to go see you. <laughs> uh, all right, see, so where did I put my, here's my cutter. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut these down to postcard size. And then, and then well, I'll take a little minute and I'll show you some of the collages where I've cut down different, um, where I've cut down different art journal pages to make smaller collages. Now, these are not art journal pages, they're just painty papers. But, you know, it's a way, <laughs> it's a way to start with having a, a card base. Okay, and I always paint the backs of my cards at, at also so they're nice on the backs like i'll paint them black or whatever uh so that they look nice uh coming and going all right so these are 12 by 12 so four so i can get four across so i'm going to go ahead and cut four but the four by six so i should be able to get three i should be able to get six out of each sheet of paper okay so I'm going to just, uh, and I can stack them up and do, and I will in a minute, uh, do two or three at a time. So it doesn't take so long, but like here's four, because it's 12 by 12. Okay. So we can get, and they are still a little wet in places. So we'll, uh, I didn't dry it a hundred percent. So there's three fours. Okay. Now I'm going to stack those up and cut them in half to make four by six, which is a kind of a standard. Sometimes postcards are a little smaller, but I just make them four by six. So we'll go through them all in a minute. Okay. So we'll, and then, and then again, we can cut these down even further if we want using our viewfinder, which we'll do that in a minute. Okay. So now I'm going to take two, I'm going to take two at a time. Okay. Okay, we're going to cut four. Four. And that leaves a four. So now we're going to stack these up and cut these in half. Mm, might have been pushing my luck with that many, but I did. <laughs> okay, so now... We'll go one last on this last one. I don't want to break my, my cutter. Okay, so there's four. Four. Now let's just do two and then a separate because that was a little that one was a little thick. Okay. Six. So you see how many we're making. And six. All right, so there's all this color, these colors. Okay. All right. And then again, you can cut these down in half and make them um, in half. Let's see, that would be three by four. So they'd be the art card size if you cut these in half. So you can cut them in half. Or, you know, you can cut them down any size you want. And you can use your viewfinder and find parts and pieces that you like like look right there that looks like a beach right there's some sand uh, grasses you could add go in there with your pen marker this could be a cute little little uh, square could be a little four by four uh, collage or a little painting just go in there with some grasses maybe put a little crab down here Maybe a little cloud wafting by. You see how if you take your viewfinder, it just does something. It's like magic. Taking a viewfinder and looking at your cards. Even though that's, you know, that you should be able just to look at it like this. But it doesn't, it's not the same. There's something about looking at it through the viewfinder. Now, I'm going to zoom in as soon as I'm going to finish cutting. And then we're going to zoom in and play with these. So let's see how many we got. Well, let me go ahead and flip through this first stack. Just so you can kind of see what we got here. You know, you might. And don't be afraid to turn things every which way. These right here look like fish or dolphins jumping or down, jumping in the water. You could have the dolphin tails right there and not have their heads. Maybe just that one. See, it looks like dolphins, right? 
what paper? It's just the cardstock from Hobby Lobby. I think it's 60 weight, Shelly. But they also have 110 weight, but this is not the 110. This is, I think this is a 60 weight from Hobby Lobby, 12 by 12. Comes in a pack of about 100, I think. Comes in a pack of 100, and they always have it on sale, 40% off. So you can get it on, you know, really cheap. Here, this one almost looks like some, a little field, maybe a little field of mushrooms. I don't want to stop on each one right now because we'll be here for a while. But don't be afraid to turn it different ways, you know. This looks like a trout with the dots on it. Maybe I have fishing on my mind. I don't know. <laughs> this could be a desert, dunes. There could be a little... Even though it's a desert, you could have a little um, sailing ship right there. And you can continue this out. You know, you could put, you know, just, you can just look at it and use your imagination. You know, this way, this way. This almost looks like haystacks in a field. <clears throat> Maybe a tree. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, they're mixed up from the original, from the original page. And you could either paint on these, draw on them, doodle on them, get your white poscas out. You know, let's see here. Get your white poscas out and do something. collage on them there's lots of things you can do you know with your with your painty papers to make you know make whatever oh I smeared it oh I will just wipe that off <laughs> but I can just go lots of different ways and depending on the color will kind of give you a a vibe you know on the cut depending on the colors or it doesn't have to be anything. It could just be a base to make a world. You can then go in here with uh, different collage papers to make a landscape and just like make it as a background, a base, just something so you don't start with a white, uh, a white bat base. Again, fish, fish jumping, fish. I'm really liking that fish. I mean, I mean, all this really needs is like little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this could almost be a wave more porpoises jumping more porpoises jumping <laughs> okay so there's that stack I think we had five. I think we had five cards, all 12, 12 by 12. And uh, yeah, hi, CNP. Uh, yes, that's exactly it, Kat. Do we want to know what you think? I mean, what are you imagining? <laughs> Again, like we're going to take our viewfinder and you can just, you know, whittle it down to a, a manageable little something. See? Like I said, you could put a little crab here, a little, a little, um, maybe a little cloud up here. You can have some more, um, you know, grasses coming across. So, yeah, okay, so we're going to stop with this one. We're going to go with the next pile. So these, y'all want to know again, one more time, were card number 328, the colors from this set right here. And I'm, we're using the color cubes for inspiration today. It is magical, right, Bo Beanie? Viewfinder is magical. And I'll show y'all uh, some of my other collages that I've cut down by using my viewfinder, taking old art journal pages, using the viewfinder 
to cut those pages down. I'll show you that after we finish cutting this up. Okay. All right. So there's that. Next, okay, let's try not to flash it out. All right. So now let's see. We had, how many do we have here? We had four of these. These are not quite dry yet. Let's wait on those to the last. All right. So let's go back to, all right, here's the ones that I did um, yesterday. These are the ones I did yesterday. I only have three, three sheets. And those were the, this one. This was number 333. And uh, try not to make them too painty. But, you know. So these are the colors that I uh, did my sample pages yesterday. Oh, Pacola. Look at her. Girl. <laughs> and so that's three, three, three. So we can cut. I only did three pages. I think there's only three. One, two, so three. Yeah, only three. So I can cut all three of these at the same time. I don't want to cut more than three pages at a time. All right. So these are 12 by 12 and I'm cutting them down to um, four by six and you get six out of each sheet. So we have three, so we'll get 18, 18 cards out of this. I think that's right. <clears throat> and then you, again, you can cut, you can cut them down. Um, whoops, you can cut the them in half and make um, three by three by uh, four, three by four. Yeah, three by four smaller art cards if you want. All right, so now let's cut these in half. Now I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm giving away some of these, so pay attention. Lurkers, at least you can, if you want to check in long enough to put in a number. Not yet. Don't put any numbers in yet, people. <laughs> um, and uh, you have just have to send me your address. I don't share your address with anybody, not even the other mods. So just to clarify. All right. So here, let's move this a little. I guess I'll just do it right here. All right. So I'm going to flip through these. These are three, three, three. I'm just going to flip. I'm not going to say what I see in them right now. I just want to flip through them. And again, you could cut these in half to make three by four cards uh, rather than four by six. So if you want to make them more art cards, you can even cut them down to ATC size. But you can see that they make some cool. Oh, little jellyfish. Sorry, couldn't resist. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So, I think we had 18 of those because we had three sheets. Three sheets. And that's number 333. Okay. All right. Next. Let's do the purple ones. And the purple ones, I think we had five sheets. So, that would be um, six, five times six, 30, 30. No, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30. So, we can get 30 cards out of this. Because there's five, but they're not quite dry. A little bit of moisture on them. Okay, so let's go ahead and do three at a time, and then we'll do the other two. And these are not quite dry. Uh, let me hang on, guys. I want to hit these with the heat tool for just a second. Um, I'll mute. I'll mute because it's not. I don't want big lumps of uh, wet paint. So hang on. I think it was just that one that was really wet, so we'll see. 
All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay, we're going to cut them down to four. And then cut these in half to six. See what we can do here. I have to clean my blade off after this. So I'm just going to do a little flip. If I showed y'all the, we're going to go through them when we play with them. Okay. So there's those. That was number 408. All right. Oh, I see all these. Okay. All right. We're going to cut them all down because I'm going to let y'all pick what color you want. You're going to pick if you want purple, brown red, you know, so, so, etc. Okay, one, two, let's get a stuff right there. I got five of these as well, so that's going to be, see those stuff right there. Um, 30, so let's, let's make two piles. Let's do two and then three. Okay, so we're going to cut these down. I know it's a little tedious, but we'll do a giveaway after this. should just put big numbers on each pile that way it'll be easy for y'all to pick which color you like I got shadows there oh I got some more of those okay I got three more of these okay let's finish these Let's just look at one stack here. Look, this could be a sailboat, or it could be a dog. It could be a chihuahua, or a dachshund. It could be a dachshund. Look, there's his ears. There's his little body. There's a tree. <laughs> whales, whales, uh, fins. <laughs> Okay, so there's those colors. That is number 432. All right, I still got a couple more, guys. All right. This one is number 405. I like this one. Well, I actually like this one, too. All right, we'll do a couple at a time here. Again, I have five of these, so. All right, five sheets. I'm trying to do two at a time. Okay, that one's, that one got a little, yeah, that one jacked up. <laughs> I think there was a blob of paint right there. So one of these won't make the cut. 
I don't know. Yeah, that one kind of. Okay. <clears throat> that one. Yeah, that one tore up. We'll just throw it away. That one. Cause there's a there's a thing of wet paint right there. Okay, so let's cut this down to six and throw that one away. It's all torn up. Okay. So I think it'll be fun. You get to pick what colors you want. <laughs> I'll give. I'll let everybody. Whoever gets it, will I can. I'll give them a. I'll give them three of every any color that they pick. We'll we'll do some giveaways. Let's do, it'll be like herding cats for a minute, but we'll do a couple rounds. Okay. All right. Let's finish cutting up these. But these are fun to work with. If you don't want to make them yourself, it's fun to use them. You know, it's fun to have painy pads. I did that again down here on the edge. Man, don't want to waste my pages. They're too fun. Okay. But, you know, I didn't take the time to dry dry them all with the heat gun. So if they're wet on the edge, it's not going to it's not going to cut. <laughs> it's not going to cut through wet paper. Sit down there. Well, those are, that's going in the trash. So. All right. Let's see if any of these are salvageable. This one is. Those aren't. Let's see. Okay, let's see. That one, these two are torn. Okay, there we go. We got those. All right. This color. All right, we've got a couple more. We're getting there, though. We've got two more sets. All right, two more sets. Oh, that one was 405. Are y'all hanging? Are you hanging? <laughs> That's what happens when I do so many. All right, so then we got these. We got these, uh, we got four of these, so we can do two and two. Okay. No, oh, I should have probably done those sideways because those would have been good to have all the colors. Oh, I already did it now, so all right, four, six. that and we only have one stack left all right here we go Janet did you decide on Pictionary today Oh, she mentioned it. Hi, Rebecca. I'm driving. Okay, well, don't drive. Don't chat and drive. Don't do that. Just lurk. Okay, so that is number three twenty-five. All right, one more stack. We're done. We've got four of these. I okay, got four of these. Let's do two at a time. I can move this uh, cutter off the desk. Um, Joe Lou making uh, art cards out of them. Collage cards. You can paint them. You can collage them. We're going to give some away first. Do 
You never made painty papers, Joe Lou? To use for uh, other projects? I'm going to show you some of my uh, cut up um, collage from uh, old art journals in just a few minutes. Give you all some more ideas, more inspiration. Write it down in your Society of Idea Collector Notebook. All right, there we go. There we go. And that one, where's that card? Oh, here it is. And these are number 403. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, let's move this out of my way. I do this. Okay. All right, let's see how I want to do this. So that all the colors show. I'm going to write the numbers. I'm going to write the numbers big so you can see them. And we're going to do a giveaway. I might do a couple giveaways, but let's start. Let's start with one. Okay, where's this one? Where's this? One? Oh, that's uh, is that part of this one? Yeah, that's more of those. I just can't see the color. There we go. And you're not going to get may not get all the colors. I'll try to pick them. I'm not going to let y'all pick the individual cards. I'll let you pick the colors. And I'll try to get uh, cards that have all the colors on them. Because not all of them do. Like this doesn't have any blue on it. You know, that kind of thing. I'll do my best. Okay. So let's see. Let's keep them. Okay. All right. So here we go. Let me quickly write the numbers on them so that it's easy for y'all to see. I think that's pretty good. Do this. Do this. All right, now hang on. Give me a minute. Give me a minute before we do the giveaway because otherwise it'll be like herding cats. Okay? <laughs> so y'all pay attention to the numbers What before we say go. Kind of pick out if you win what color you would pick. So we don't have to sit and wait and wait and wait for you to decide. So decide now. <laughs> decide now what color you like, okay? I need another small. All right. There we go. And again, if you whatever one you win, I will try to find the cards. I'll give y'all, I'll give, I'll give y'all three of each. Three of the color you pick. So I'll have try to have all the colors in the cards. Okay. All right. So we're going to start, we'll start with international and we'll do, can everybody see, can everybody see everything right there? Pick your numbers. Can everybody see the numbers? Let me know. Okay. All right. Let me get my random.org. Okay. Just hold your, hold your thoughts of what you want and just keep it to yourself until we tell you if you win. Okay. And then I'll let you pick. You can't pick three different colors. You have to pick one color, and I'll send you three of that color. Okay? So hang on. Let me get my random.org. Okay. All right. Come on. Load up. There we go. So I have my random.org, my little window here, 1 to 100. Okay, so be looking at the numbers. I mean, these, the colors, okay? And uh, when I type in go, we're going to do international only first. International only, okay? International only, 1 to 100. The first three people, now let's try not to, let's not make it too complicated here. Let's try to keep it... <laughs> <laughs> I want to try to keep it because otherwise my mods are going to go, don't do, do, don't be doing any more giveaways. No, they would not. They'd never say that. 
I would say it to them. We're not doing any more giveaways. <laughs> okay. So when I type in go international only, put in one number between one and 100, not one of these numbers. These are for the color picks. Put in one number between one and 100. First three people closest to the random.org. First three people closest will get to pick a color and I'll send you three cards. And I might throw in some little, you know, collage fodder kind of things as well. Okay. Make it a little kit for you, you know. All right. Now we got to keep it organized. Wait till I type and go. One number only. Do not change your number. Make sure you have live chat clicked at the top. Live chat so that you, you see all the numbers. Okay. International only. First three people closest to whatever random.org brings up. Okay. <laughs> there you go. All right, international only, put in your numbers. I'm going to take a minute, get a little bit of water here. And then we'll do the same thing for USA only. Okay, I got plenty. I got 20, 30 cards of every color. So we got plenty of cards. So, and then we're going to look at the cards. We're going to look at some of my other collage in my folder. We're going to do some little... Um, uh, view finding with these and decide if we want to do something with it. We'll see. You know, it's an impromptu show. <laughs> do we just play as we go? Okay. I mean, I do have a, gen I did a general idea that I wanted to do this, but you know, you never know how it's going to turn out. All right. I'm going to count down, get your numbers in 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two. I got the hiccups. <laughs> One. Last call. Get your numbers in. All right. Let's go back over to random.org. International only. And if I ask you to send me your address, please email it to me today and I'll mail these out to you tomorrow. If I have your address, if I remember, I'll let you know. If I'm questionable, if I have your address, and I'll ask for you to send it to me again. I don't share your addresses, not even with other mods. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. First three people closest to 48. 48. And if everybody went over 48, I'll pick another number. 48. First three people closest to 48 without going over. All right. And my mods will help me. Let's see. First, I'll look for the 40s. Okay. Tommy Val Valen had 45. I'm going to write to all these down. Oh, I'm sorry. Tammy Valen. Tammy Valen had 45. Let's see who else. Who else? Let's see who else do we have. All right, now I'm going to go back for the 30s because it looks like Tom. Now, y'all be thinking about what color you want now. Tommy, be thinking about what number you want. Let's see. Let's go back. Raul had 36. Miriam had 34. Did anybody get closer to 36 and 34? It looks like it might be Raul and Miriam along with Tammy. Is it Raul and Miriam? Okay. Raul and Mir. Okay, and, and y'all can pick the same colors because we got plenty. Okay, so it doesn't matter if somebody else picks your color. Okay, you three people, tell me what colors you want, and I'm going to write your number on here. Okay, Tommy, I, mean, I keep saying Tommy, Tam, we do have a Tommy. Tammy, Miriam, and Raul, tell me what numbers you like, what colors. Okay, here's your colors. There's the numbers. Let me know. Okay, Tammy wants 432. This one, okay, 432. Okay, I'm writing it down and uh, that's all I need because I know that's the color right there, right? Okay, all right. Raul and Miriam, let's see what they picked. Raul, ooh, what did Jane say? Raul has horseshoes. Oh, I missed something. Okay, Raul wants 408. 408, is that purple? Okay. And Miriam, what color do you want? Let me put these back here behind me. Miriam, Miriam. 
Miriam, run to the front of the store. Miriam, oh, she already put it. Oh, she did, 325. 325 for Miriam. She wants this color. Okay, I got y'all. Okay, that was the easy one, doing international. <laughs> now we're going to do the same thing, USA only. We're going to pick a new number, USA only. One to 100, first three people closest without going over. I'll make you a little kit. Okay, and I'll probably get them done today and get them in the mail tomorrow. So I can just put them in my in my post. You're welcome, guys. Is that fun? Is that fun? Do y'all like the gettings, these little cards? We'll look at the cards here in a minute, too. Um, but I just want to go ahead and do a giveaway because it's all, I don't want to wait till the last minute, you know, till 1130. All right, wait till I type and go. Okay, <laughs> when I type and go, USA only, first three people closest to a new random.org will um, get to pick. And I'll give you all three cards of each one and some little goodies in there to make, make your own little cards. Or you can just paint on them, draw on them, doodle on them, Posca paint on them, dot them. That's what Janet would do. She would dot them. You can do whatever you want. They're just some little backgrounds. Now, I am not going to, I will say this, when I make my cards with these, when, when I make something with them, I do paint my back, backs. I'm not painting the backs for you guys. You can either mount them on another piece of cardstock, paint them yourself, or just paint them black, or do whatever you want on the backs. I'm not completing the black, the backs for you, okay? Just saying. Y'all got to do a little work yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, USA only. First three people, close. Get your numbers and don't dilly dally, doddle or lollygag. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I have anything else? Notes here. I'm trying to check. I did post uh, new books in my community tab, and I did show y'all some new sci fi books that I. Uh, oh, no, I wasn't going to say sci fi. Sorry, Stephen. <laughs> SF. It's a whole thing. I well, He does a whole thing on that. I'm not going to go into it now, but anyway. SF books. <laughs> I showed them. Okay, so um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, Yvonne, that's okay. If you win, we'll just, we won't, we won't give it to you. <laughs> One last call. Get your numbers in. USA only. Last call. Get your numbers in. There we go. Okay. New number. First three people closest. Three people closest to 89. 89 without going over. 89. Let me scroll back. Let me look for the 80s first. Looking for the 80s. Leona Jean had 82. Had 82. Let me see who else. If anybody's, you know. Let's see. Leah Foy has 77. Let's see. Missy. Missy Johnson has 86. I'm writing these down. Missy Johnson had 86, and let's see. So I'm scrolling into the 70s now, and I think it was uh, who had the highest in the 70s. Laverne had 70. Somebody has 70-something. Leah, Leah Foy has 77. See if I'm right, guys. I'm writing these down. And I think I have all three of you guys' addresses. All right, let me check. Okay, Missy, Leon, yeah, I had it right. Okay, y'all tell me, you three, tell me what numbers you like, and I will write it down for you. What, uh, you know, based on the colors, I mean. Those numbers are the colors of the, the that match the card. So if you like this these colors, that's your number you give me. Okay. Okay, let's see. Leona wants 328, which is this one. Okay, Missy and Leah. 
Leah, Missy wants 408, which is the purple. 408. And Leah, Leah Foy, what color do you want? Looking, looking, looking. Did I miss? Leah, what color, which number do you want? Or did I miss it? I don't see you putting in a number yet. Leah, which number do you like? Which color? Cindy Daly had 84. Okay, well, that's okay. Then we're going to do Cindy Daly, too. That's okay, but I don't think I have your address, Cindy. I will do you, too. That's fine. We'll do an extra one. We got plenty. We got plenty. She had 84. Okay, we're going to do that. All right, so both of you, too, need to tell me your numbers. Okay, I got her, Janet. So I got plenty. We'll, I'll just do an extra one. We It happens every now and then. Okay, so Leah wants 333, three, three, which is the pinky one. Okay, and Cindy Daly or Daly. I'm not sure I said. I'm not sure if I have your, I'm not sure if I have your um, address. Um, there is 408. Okay, 408, which is that one. Okay, we got plenty. All right, so there we go. We just That's okay. It happens sometimes, especially with U.S. We got lots. So we just did an extra giveaway. So that's a purple. All right. So I got all y'all's colors, numbers written down, and I'll add some little goodies in there. Y'all can make y'all collage or whatever. Okay. All right. Okay. So now I don't need these anymore. The only reason I have these big numbers on is for y'all to be able to see them. For you guys to be able to see because those numbers are so small. I didn't want to have to keep holding up those numbers. Okay. There we go. All right, so now let's move these off to the side and do a little, there we go. So I hope y'all uh, will enjoy your colors when you get them. All right, but first, let's do a couple of things here. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing this because I'll spend the last 30 minutes going through these cards and doing something with them, you know, making a collage or just painting on them or giving y'all ideas. So write down the ideas. I already told y'all a bunch of different things you can do with them. You can doodle on them. You can dot. You can do uh, painty uh, dots like or with Posca. You can paint on them. You can make them little scenes. You could cut them in half. You can cut them in half and make them... Uh, you know, smaller art cards rather than postcards. Um, you can collage on them. So I'm going to show, you're welcome, Cindy. No problem. It happens. You know, we just, you know, that happens. Um, but do, make, do I have your address? If y'all are not, any of you are not sure if you have my address, here is my email, which is always in my about, whoops, let me take off cat locks. Here's my email. I think everybody, yeah, Zentangle, there you go, Miriam, Zentangle on them. Um, now, but do remember, oh, you can, and we are going to stencil on these as well, With, but I'm going to stencil on them with ink. You can stencil on them with paint or ink, um, but if you use a pen, the only pens you really want to use is like a ballpoint pen, because, or a paint marker, but just regular, you know, writing pens, just regular, you know, your your paint. You don't want to ruin your pens. You certainly don't want to use Copics or alcohol markers on acrylic paint. You'll ruin the tips. It'll dry them out immediately. So just FYI, you want to use paint, um, ink, like stenciling ink, which was what we're going to do here in a minute, or ballpoint pen or paint markers like Posca. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Put it in the scavenger hunt. There you go. Miriam's on it. She's on it. <laughs> so write your ideas down, guys. I tell you, I mean, I cannot stress it enough. Have some kind of notebook, com composition book, traveler's notebook, some kind of book where you write your ideas down. You know, this year I'm using the old, the Happy Planner rings with blank paper in it, and I've tabbed them off in different subjects. But I have three ring binders. I have comp books. I have travelers. No, but I have all different kinds. But you want to have a place to write down your ideas, even if it just starts on a post-it. Lots of my ideas are on post-it notes. Then it can, I can smack it into my Society of Idea Collector notebook under that tab with just the post-it note. 
I don't have to rewrite it or anything if, it's, if I don't want to or need to. But you need a place because that way you always have some ideas on hand. These color combinations, I show them clearly each time. You don't, you know, if you don't have the color cubes, then there's some color inspiration. You can use paint chips. You can go to design-seeds.org on Instagram and they'll have them. I mean, there's just plenty of places that you can find color combinations. I just gave you these seven today. Okay. Um, so I wanted to show, I'm just going to kind of flip through this. This is one of my notebooks where these are art journal pages that I've done art journaling on. And by that, it could mean, oh, it could mean a lot of things in here. Like here, I'll get this little stack here. So I have the, some of, here's some of my art journal pages that I've not done things with yet. Uh, other than maybe post some, you know, post it on, you know, Instagram or something. But these are out of art journals. I've cut them out of art journals. Some might have just been on eight by eight and a half by 11 uh, pieces of paper. And uh, so most of them are probably out of an art journal. So if I don't like the pages, then I cut them down. And when I cut them down, I will mount them on a piece of white piece of cardstock to kind of frame them. And they look totally different. And you'll be amazed. Try it with yourself. Go through your art journals or just make some new art journal pages. Either one. I got the hiccups. Hang on. Let it dry completely and then take your viewfinder. Let me go get another one of those pages back there. Take a viewfinder. <clears throat> and these are pages that I ne don't necessarily love. All right. That you can then take your viewfinder and find a section that you like. And again, we're flashed out a little because of the black. Now we've got the black paper up there. Let me turn the light down just a little. Okay. You can, you can find little areas that you like and do the same with these cards that we did today. You know, you can take... You can take your viewfinder and just find little areas that you like. You know, it can be a square, could or it might just be the whole thing. But what I'm saying is with your old art journal pages, you can take your viewfinder and find. And it, the thing about doing it like this with two L's is that you can move them around and make them rather than just a hole in a paper. You know, you, which is just one size. This way you can shuffle it around. You can decide if you like a little area, if you like, a, you know, whatever area you like. And then all you have to do is just take a white pencil. Of course, the words on here. Take you a white pencil and then just mark, mark the corners of where you liked it. And then, then follow the corners and cut it down. Cut it down to where, whatever it is that you liked. Okay. <laughs> okay, Rebecca. So these are some of the ones that I have not done yet. Or maybe I will or maybe I won't. But just, just so you can see. Okay, some old art journal pages. I'm sure if y'all are in this channel or in any of our, <laughs> any of this group's channel, you have art journal pages. Because we have, well, that's what a lot of us do. A lot of. Okay, this one I did in 2013. Okay, here's another one. <clears throat> might just be that or it might be this it might be longer it might be bigger but if you have a black and i recommend black it just kind of it doesn't detract from whatever you're focusing on maybe not even her at all maybe just her hand maybe just a just this part here. Maybe just the hand there like that. See? All right, so you get the idea of old art journal pages with the viewfinder. And then, like I said, you just mark where you want to cut. Mark where you want to cut. And then you can draw your, draw your lines around. Or you could just trace it, whatever. And then cut it down. I recommend a pencil so you can erase a little bit of line if it shows. And that's what I've done for all of these, all right? These were all art journal pages that I have cut down. Now I probably need to turn the brightness back up again because from white to black paper, 
There we go. All right. So I'm just going to flip through these just to show you um, some of the ones that I've cut down. Then, like, I've added little things. I've added this fish, you know, added different little things. But they started out with just the cut down. I'm going to kind of go fast because I want to, you know, don't want to take too long. Uh, let's let's go ahead and zoom in now that we're done doing all that cutting. And let's turn the brightness down just a tad. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to flip just to show you that these these were all page these were all art journal pages that I cut down, and then I've added some things to some of them. <clears throat> and you, they're just they're just taped. I just like double sided taped them to another piece of cardstock. This is just a plain piece of white cardstock that I double taped, double side taped the cards to, or the pieces, the bits, the, you know, the parts of the, that I cut down. So I'm just going to kind of flip here. Yeah, conspiracy chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taking notes. Okay, Cheryl, I hope so. Because, I, I mean... You know, when you're watching other people stream and you're talking in chat, you're not going to most of the time take the time to stop and do the projects, you know, because it's you just don't. But you can take notes and then and then you always have ideas for later. You always have ideas for later. I will not let me it won't let me send to your email. Um let me put it in again. All right, try it. Try again. Okay. We did this one on stream. Cat diving down. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm just going to flip. Added some little, this just looked, you know, all corally. So I added some fish things there. Some of them are sideways. They're sideways because I'm not turn. I'm not. I'm not taking the time to turn the pages sideways. <clears throat> but again, old art journal pages that I've cut down for the most part. Added things to it, little like little bone guy there. Looks so, uh, yeah, it does. It makes a difference if you put, you know, like if you cut down some of your jelly plated pieces and just mounted them on white paper, you just you're gonna love it. You will love your artwork even more, Devin. Not that you don't already, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, thanks, Tori. Tori, I like what you're doing, though, too. Your little character that you're working on. So there's just some, there's just some uh, that I've cut down from um, old art journals. Conspiracy chicken. All right, so there we go. There's that. And then I do the postcards, which I have my postcards and art cards, same kind of thing, but I put them in the smaller, um, I should say thinner, three ring binder. So if you do the same kind of thing with um, collage, like I use postcards and collage on them with just a simple, these are just simple collages, one image on a postcard, okay? And um, so some of these are just very simple little collages uh, using postcards. Any old postcard, you know, like this was a postcard. I added the hand, you know, this eagle. I added the guy in his mouth. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, this one, uh, Joanne's dad had that one. So I haven't done anything with it yet, but I wrote on that it was Joanne's dad. So just add like this little floral postcard, added a little, little hedgehog. Added this girl to this floral. Added this beat, this uh, little boy to the cricket, pet knit. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So uh, Samantha gave me these three for my birthday. She gave me those three postcards for my birthday. I haven't done anything with them yet. And then here's some collage ones. I, I have room here to add more. Um, these are different collage cards that I've done. And they've either come from, um, most of these started out just, let me turn the brightness down. Most of these uh, started out as uh, just blank cards, already four by six. And I did the, I did the scenes and everything, painted them and collaged on them on just already cut down four by six rather than cutting down a, uh, an old art journal page. So these are probably more than likely most of these are um, made at, made from scratch on four by six. And then here's three by four. And again, I just mounted them on a little piece of white cardstock. So yeah, some more different ones. These are just, these are painted collages rather than, you know, they're painted collage cards rather than postcards that I work on top of. These are started from scratch. So, and then just another, some more, some more pieces of collage here that I haven't done really anything to them much, except collect them in here because I don't, I'm not sure what I want to do with them yet. And then I just got some more blanks here. So, so there's lots of different ways you can do things with your collage. All right, let's see. So now let's take a stack here. And I hope y'all liked all the different colors that we did today. So you can see all the colors. Let's kind of turn them. I did like that something in there. All right. See how I'm getting all, all organized? There we go. Surrounded by our color cards. <laughs> uh, so we'll just play with these and look at them a little bit. And uh, again, you can take, I started with this one. You can take your uh, viewfinder and look at your cards and, uh, you know, just pick a section that you like. You can cut it down or... Um, you know, just continue to work on it. I'm going to kind of flip through and maybe do a little bit of a viewfinding for you first. So, what are y'all touch? I'm not sure. I think somebody took a tumble or something. Thanks, Tori. So again, I saw a lot of fish and dolphins in this set. This set. <laughs> But if you put your uh, viewfinder, it just it makes you focus on different things and just take them, you know, take your time and just kind of look at it and imagine and see. I could see a lot of undersea things, some coral or the seafloor, you know, maybe, you know, whatever. And then, you know, try to think of all the different, you know, <laughs> at least I have a lot of the uh, cut and collage books and ephemera and stuff like that, you know. And turn them. Make sure you turn your cards all different ways. Or your art journal pieces that you cut down. Turn them around. Look at them. Take a minute. You know, see if you see little scenes. See? And it doesn't have to. It can be any size you want it. It can be It can be a weird size. It can be, uh, doesn't, doesn't have to be like a standard four by six, three by five. It doesn't have to be, that can be any size you want. Cause what you can do is mount it on the white card stock. Like I showed you my other ones. And so it doesn't matter what size it is. You can make it any size you want. It could be, you know, it can be this big. It could be tiny. It could be just a little teeny piece like that. Mount this on a piece of white cardstock and you will just, you, I'm telling you, you're going to love your own artwork so much more. You really will. If you just pick out the parts you like, you know, so, so many times we make something, we go, oh, I don't like this. Look at that mess over there. Oh, well, I'll just throw it away. Well, no, wait, wait, don't throw it away. Take you a viewfinder and then do this. Let me see if I can do a, well, I only got my, uh, 
one of my 12 by 12s over here, but the same principle will work. So we'll get one of those. Okay, so again, let's just, just do a little practice here. So like this, take, and you can, uh, as long as you can see it or get an idea where it is. Okay, and I'm going to use scissors, so it's probably not going to be the straightest in the world. You want to probably use your cutter. I don't want to get my big cutter back up here again. So I'm just going to cut it down just so you can see. Uh, but you, if you really want it, or, you know, a, an X-Acto knife, cut it down straight. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not sure. Where, I don't remember where that other line was here. Oh, I want it. Okay, right All right, so, but you really want it squared up is what I mean. You could even put those little black, put those little black frame things like they used to use. Well, we use them in scrapbooking, but you, they used to use them on photographs, those little black corners, you know, but look, bam. <laughs> and you could put the little black corners or just tape it down, tape it down with the double sided tape and you could add other things. You could play with it or you, you might just like it like this. It, the viewfinder is awesome. You're welcome, Leah. So you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> All right. So let's just do a couple. Let's just kind of play with a couple here. You know, you just look around. So like you might not like this or you might like that. It might look like a beach. It might look like the sand. It might look, or you might just want to cut it down like that. Or you might want it to look like a beach scene right there, like this, the water kind of coming in right there. And again, you can go in and add more things. You can go in here and paint this in, make it a little ship. Um, you know, you can add, you can add whatever you want, whatever's in your imagination. But, you know, take the time to look at it, turn it, look at it all different ways. And you'll just see different little scenes. So, you know, or maybe you'll just, you might just like the the way the colors look. You might just like that. I like that, just like that. You know, you cut that down and put it on a piece of white paper. I'll just put it on white for a second just so you can see. You know? Or you could put another little mat under it another black or brown mat and then mat it on some white. It just, you know, framing and matting and viewfinding your work will make all the difference. Yeah. I thought it looked like the Sahara desert too, with a ship out there, like a sailing ship stuck out in there in the desert. So, <clears throat> so I'm just going to kind of flip. Here's one where I showed you a minute. I smeared it. Uh, I smeared it. <laughs> Oh, uh, when I uh, touched it, I didn't let it dry, but you could do, you know, some little wheat things. So you can just do little, little painty things like this. Again, you know, when you, when you match it out or uh, frame it out. Put it or and or put it on a piece of white. It just makes all the difference. Do those things with all the art you don't like. The viewfinder is a game changer and putting it on a piece of white. Now, this is a 12 by 12. I usually put everything on eight and a half by 11, you know, because it goes in a folder or something. But it doesn't, you know, just so that you can frame it out so you can see what it looks like. And again, if you have those little black, those little black frame things look good, too. Not necessarily on everything. But in this case, because of the colors and everything, I think some little black corners, you know, the little black uh, fr uh, photo corners would look good on it. <clears throat> Again, I put little dots on there. <laughs> fish, little fish eyes. You could put little fins on them. Or you might just like it like this. <laughs> or you might like a few or, you know, you can play with it. <laughs> and make, you know, you can draw the little, draw the little fins on the, whoops, I think that's backwards. I don't, I don't know. You can draw little fins. Little, you can draw little tails. You can just doodle and sketch, you know, play with them. 
again this almost looks like a, a you know a beach beachy thing I, i'm just seeing lots of uh dolphins jumping dolphins <laughs> you know, porpoises this could be another you know this could be a to me this looks like a pyramid i would have this be like a pyramid here and maybe a, some kind of a road coming from the pyramid there and the sandstorm I'd, I'd make that darker and make it more pronounced or, or even cut out a pyramid like, you know, one of Giza's pyramids and put it right there. Maybe a little Egyptians, uh, um, you know, symbol, cartouche or something. Put a little cartouche up there or something. More jumping dolphins. <laughs> So, yeah, so you get the idea. All right, let's look at another little set here. So I'm going to send y'all, who everybody that won something, all five, uh, three, three, let's see how many of there, seven of you. Anyway, I'll send you um, the card, color three of the colors that you, three of the cards in the color you pick, and I'll add some little, uh, you know, something for you to cut out or something. I'm not going to fussy cut everything out for you. you got And I'm not painting the backs. The backs are going to have paint on them. You're going to have to paint the backs or mount them on something, you know. But, uh, like, this looks like, like you know, um, Gibraltar or something, you know. Look. See, just that. Look, look how that makes a difference. You know, make a little landscape. Look, it has a shadow and everything. Put a couple birds up here. Wait a minute. Let me get a brush pen. It's a brush pen. Put you a couple little birds up here. Look. There you go. <laughs> cut that down. I'd cut it down right here. Let's see here. Some little birds up there. See, everybody sees something different. Look, there's an alligator. Look, there's his little head. Here's his little eyes would be like right here. Another one would be over there. Look, it's a little alligator. <laughs> and you can doodle on it and play with it or whatever, you know. Or again, you could just use this as a background and, and paint things out. Add your collage part bits in. You know, turn them all different ways. Or just use them to spark your imagination, whether you actually use them or not. You could, you know, turn them, play with them. Um, see what I mean? <sighs> it's been fun, Debbie Bruce. Good. I hope so. I hope y'all enjoyed, you know, getting some ideas and you know, making making you some painty papers, or if you don't like doing the, the way I made painty papers, then make them with Devin's way with the jelly plate. Make you a bunch of jelly plated papers, and then do the same thing. Take your viewfinder, find things, take your collage bits, and you know, I don't have any collage thing right here. Let me see if I can find some collage. -y. Hang on, let me find something here. Do I have something handy here? Let's these books here. And, you know, any of your cut and collage books here. And, you know, cut something out to put in here, you know. So, yeah. So these were some of the blue ones. I'm going to just kind of do a little flip of the colors we did. This is the one that I did. I did these colors yesterday to make you some samples. But uh, these, these could be a lot of different flowers. I see a lot of florals in this. You could, you know, um, uh, frame out some different sections to make a flower. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn?
you know, play with it. <clears throat> And cut it down. So, yeah, depending on the colors, the colors are going to kind of determine things too. You know, pinks, you just think more flowery things. Purple, of course, they use these uh, hydrangeas. But, you know, purple can be a lot of things too. Space scenes, you know, you could add a lot of. Throw some uh, stars on here. You know, you can have stars. You can have a shooting star. You can have some, just some uh, different, uh, throw a planet in here. Want to punch out a planet or cut out a planet or draw one. Put a planet on there, some space. So there's some of the purple. Some of the... Kind of deserty colors. This kind of reminds me, you know, like de deserty colors. And again, I'll try to give you all a variety so that you have some of each of the colors in there. You can make look. This looks like one of Janet's monsters. I could see her turning this into one of her monsters. But again, if you take them with your frame. You will find areas just, you know, even if you, even just an abstract. See, look, and that looks so pretty. Thanks, Mary, too. And hi. Bye, Pacola. I know I miss saying bye to her. Okay. So, yeah. So there's those colors. And then we did these kind of seven, they remind me of 70s, but they're also, you know, sunflower colors. But look, there's lots of different florals, gardens. You could have this like you're looking down at a garden. You're looking down at a cabbage patch or something. Bees. Bees in here. Butterflies. Bees and butterflies. And then the last one was this set here. More florals. Look. Let's go this way. Maybe this way. Turn it different ways. Okay, so y'all get the idea? Well, did y'all enjoy this? I hope it was, we didn't do a project per se, but I hope you got lots of inspiration and uh, ideas to either... You know, and again, you don't have to get your hands in there. You can use paint brushes. You can take your time. It's just more random if you'll use like a catalyst wedge or, you know, a plastic brush so that it makes random marks or a palette knife. Palette knife makes these kind of cool things right here, you know. Um, but you can also get your fingers in there, do a combination of all. And you don't have to go as fast as we did. You don't have to make 100 cards <laughs> in a sitting. You know, you can take your time and pick co colors and combinations that you like and take your time. Add splatters. We didn't even get to that today. Splattering on any of those pages. Or if you get your page here, add some splatters to it. You know, look, there's a whole school of fish right there. Whole school of fish. You can splatter them, drip them, you know, lots of different things. Thanks, cat and paste. I, hi, Ruth. I missed coming in. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to head out. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you, lurkers. Hello, lurkers. Those in the backyard or up in the balcony, whatever y'all want to call it. <laughs> so, yeah. So I will get these out in the mail to you guys tomorrow, those of you that want a card. And I'll, you know, put some little things in there for you to collage with or something. We'll see. All right. Well, y'all have a blessed rest of your day. Don't forget, Janet comes on at one. I don't know that she decided to do uh, Pictionary, but if she did, y'all, it's a hoot to watch Janet play Pictionary. Everybody is laughing their heads off when we play Pictionary. So... <laughs> Thanks, Janet. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, Debbie Bruce. All right. Hi, Bed of Dust. I miss saying hi. If I miss saying hi to you, I do go back and scrub through my chat. 
to see anybody I missed or new people that have channels that I might have missed, uh, you know, if I don't follow. If you, as long as you have content. If you're a creator and you have content, I will probably follow you. So photography, painting, whatever it is you do. Uh, I do like to follow new people. I don't care if you have one follower or 10,000 or 20,000. So, um, yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.